In the past six months, the flu affected 24 million people in the U.S. alone and hospitalized 670,000 and killed 55,000 people in the U.S. alone. Are they shutting down society over the flu? No, they are not. Mass hysteria over false exaggerations when they show a few cases in each state and they color the entire state red as if everyone in the state is infected. This is complete exaggerated nonsense. So this is what you're doing, but if... Huh? What's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, keep going. So here, here's what's important, though, and, and, I, and as I wrote that, I read this letter from Governor Newsom of California that just shut down the entire state of California. And after consulting with the CDC, they come to the conclusion that 25 million Californians out of the 40 million Californians that live there will be affected yeah. by the coronavirus. You know, it's just you know, on exaggerated, the, just crap. On the Central you know? Dispatch, we still got... 26,000 cars uh, available to ship. So, car hauling still in demand. Wow, 26,000 cars, huh? Huh. There you go. Is that just because people aren't buying them at the sale all the time? Is that you're at, at that place that sells them in Florida? Or what? No, we we always need cars shipped. I mean, come on, this is America. We, we you can take our guns, you can take our food, but you can't take our cars. Just kidding. Uh, let's see. Let's look. Florida to northeast. I mean, it's not a lot. It should be more. It really should be like forty thousand or thirty-five. But I remember times it was twenty-six thousand. During yeah. business hours, I think it's fine. You know, we got a thousand cars coming out of Florida going to Northeast. So, uh. Is that what you're going to do is continue to haul cars up the East Coast? You think? Or what? Um, I got a couple options. Okay, so you're not sure what you're going to go back into in the next week or so, huh? No, I don't know. If you got something for me. Oh, race car here. Huh? Daytona Beach to... Yeah, I want to do that race car. Must load 424. Um, GT4 race car. Sin. What does that look like? Who? Um... Yeah, I mean, I got, I really don't have too much going on, but I'm glad I was able to buy Pure One Import stock yesterday. So we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't go bankrupt, they're trying to file Chapter 11, but yeah. if they don't, then, uh, then... Then that'll be a really good Christmas for me. Um, Pure one import. Why are you saying that it's going up or what? No, it's going down. It's crashing. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know, but I wouldn't count too much on the market, you know? No, this is like the best day ever in the market. Are you kidding me? You mean they're coming back or what? Prices are going back up. Is that what you're saying? Martin, a stock that was $50 before is now 10 cents. It was $50 and it's now 10 cents? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. So that means you put a little money in it. If it goes back to $30 in a year or two, you're a bazillionaire. Yeah. Wait a minute. SL to New Jersey. Yeah, everything's fine. I don't know why people are. I mean, okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. If I wanted to leave Minnesota, let's do MN2 all where I'm at. 
Minnesota to all. We'll we'll do a, a search. Um, we'll see what's up. If I had a car hauler, what I need to do, I need to make a transport plate while I'm up here. Uh -huh. That's 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 what the next the thing uh, because then I could just slap it on any truck and just drive it. Um, right here, under bridge inspection unit truck. Minnesota, Duluth to New York, $3,000. $3 a mile. So, uh, yeah, international flatbed pole truck, Shakopee to Miami, $3,500. That's a big bad boy. Uh, I guess low boys could handle those, but if they will allow driveway service. Let's see, you got a Mac, Big Lake to Philadelphia, 2000. Okay, ATVs, Hastings to Utah, three ATVs, 1500. Not bad. An RX, Lexus RX. Uh, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Um... Minnesota's not a good place to be <laughs> for car hauling. Okay, yeah. cushion, tire, forklift, $800. Are oh. you still in Shakopee right now? Yeah. Oh, so you, when, when, are you, are you looking for a partner to do some work with it or not? Well... Not my work, but your work, sure. Oh, you mean free work? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, small forklift. All right, what do we got? $800. Well, huh? I, I, I will tell you this, Serge, is that here's the whole thing. My friend Matt has been working nonstop trimming trees, and I asked him, I said, is it slowing down or pick it up? And he says, it's picking up. He said, people are staying home and they love me to come in their yard because they have no interaction with the outside world. And he says, so I come in there and they can, can talk to us and they can help them. And he says, people are looking forward to me coming to their house. Well, if you want, so, you know, I wouldn't mind climbing a couple of trees, um, you know, and watching you knock them down. Uh, how should I say? I could use the exercise. Yeah. Yeah. You say, you say you have an estimate that somebody wants a couple trees knocked down. No, or you want? I'm telling you, I'd go knock down a couple with you for fun. Well, it wouldn't be for fun. I'd make sure you get paid. You know, I don't do it for exercise. Well, right. I do it to make well, right. money. I'm keeping my options open. If it's Monkey Man, if it's Surge the Car Holler, Monkey Tree Man, and I. And I can make money to buy more of my favorite stocks. Sure. Let's do it. Well, here, here, here's what the tree business entails. It's, it's about working hard and making investments in equipment. And the more equipment you have, the more money you make. And that's, and I've seen Matt do that. He's, and I've got, I'm to the point where I'm, you know, I've got a bucket truck, I've got two loaders, I've got some equipment. And so with some repairs, I can start making a lot of cash because I have some of the big equipment. I have a 65 foot bucket truck right now, you know. I see, so you need a driver to drive those big machinery. Exactly. I That's mean, why I you need me. Like well, let's do it. I'm your man, I can drive anything with wheels. I got double, triple endorsements. You know? Yeah, this ain't that big of a truck. It's just eighteen thousand GVW, so you know. Well, let's. It's, not, it's, it's a forty-eight thousand truck. You know, forty-eight thousand. It's probably like a three-ton, something like that. Three-ton, three and a half-ton truck with a sixty-five bucket bucket on the top top of it. You know. Sure. Then, and, yeah. I, but huh? but 
You know, I'd go with you, but only one requirement, Martin. You know, we can buy all the equipment you need or we need, but we also have to buy a Porsche. One of those cars we hauled, Martin. We got to buy ourselves a GT3 RS, Lamborghini, Aventador, SVJ, Diablo, something. You know, you got to go fast, too. Okay. <laughs> that's fine with me. If, that, if that's your hobby and that's your interest, I don't care. That's fine no, with me. I'll, I'll help you cut every tree from the Midwest to the East Coast as long as we can get something fast. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm. I think that's fair. That sounds like a fair deal to me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of teasing, but, uh, you know. Um, I know, I know you have a deep interest in. It, in nice cars, and, and it, I, I, I'm not offended by that, you know. It's uh, yeah. well, there's some money to make in those cars, you know, and um, I've learned how people buy them and really, yeah, uh, really invest in them, and and uh, it's an investment that pays. You know, there's some really bad deals out there. There are some good ones out there. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm just happy with the cheap Dodge Viper. Um, so uh, yeah. Well, all right. Um, yeah, and I'd uh, uh, so like you like the you like the look of the Dodge Viper. You know, right? just everything about the Dodge Viper is like wrong and right. You, you know, it's I guess it just appealed to they marketed to my group in the in my childhood. So yeah. um, that's kind of why I, you know, it, it's part of my childhood. And um, it's it's a really uh, wrong car to drive. It's really dangerous, and it just wants to kill you every moment. And I I do like the look of it. You know, I I, I understand the history of it. And um, you know, Carol Shelby. Did you see that movie that came out, Ford versus Ferrari? I yeah. did watch that. That was interesting. I did go see that. Yeah, you, you watched it. You did. Yeah, I did. I went to it uh, a couple of months ago in December. It was interesting. Yeah, um, I, I, because I mentioned it to you, right? I think I mentioned it to you then, or something, or you might have went on your own. But yeah, um, you know well, that I went, I went with my friend David Lee actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, weird, weird yeah, yeah. Car Carol Shelby, who made the Cobra, he also designed the Viper. They wanted to call the Viper a Cobra, but the Cobra name was already taken, so they called it a different snake. So um, they call it a Viper. It's uh, and it has Lamborghini engine on the throttle bodies. On the throttle bodies, it has Lamborghini throttle bodies. It has Lamborghini logo on the throttle bodies of the Dodge Viper. So um, because uh -huh. at that time Chrysler had owned Lamborghini, so they used Lamborghini. Well, it's engine. not even an expensive car, is it? No, you, know? you can get them for like thirty thousand. Um, like a you well, look know. at this one. Look at this one. Here's a nineteen ninety six. No, I've seen one in here for seventeen thousand dollars, which is yeah. You could get crazy. like a rough one and just you know drive the you know the juice out of it. So, um, anyways, um, yeah. It, well, if we, if you want to do a tree thing, gee, um, how do I how do I start? What do we do? How do you start? Yeah, what do we do? Um. As far as tree work goes, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, here's how we start. You have to, we have to contact Home Advisor, which is a, which here's how we start. We get the marketing and the business and moving us tree work. So, and, and that's through Home Advisor out of, it's a Colorado company and you call them. You give them your social security number. You let them do a background check on you. They clear you that you're not a murderer or a rapist. And then they start feeding you leads, and we start going on leads and, and doing work. That's how we get started. We get the cash flow coming in because, hmm. and the reason I haven't done it is because I won't use a social security number, so they won't do business with me. So, you know. Yeah, well... Well, I don't know. I'm a rapist and a murderer, according to a whole bunch of people on the internet. So, <laughs> I don't know if it'll work for me. I'm kidding. Um, sounds good. Uh, should I call him now? Do you want to? Uh, well, we better do some planning before you get on there. You can't mention my name. You can't. Well, we can do it.
Well, uh, could I use my corporate entity to set up an account? Yeah. Or, or, right, right, of course. Well, I've got that corporation uh, for the car hauling, but it's, it's just the general name. Uh, maybe we could use that because it's all established. Uh, What's that? The no, it's a TCH Corporation. Tree cutting houses. Tree cutting. Well, I. Yeah, yeah, well, well, okay. Well, we could call it, what What if we call it TCH um, Tree Cutting Hercules? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that'd be a good name, Tree Cutting Hercules. I mean, that's what I think about you when, you know, I mean, look at you. You're like, you're like a strong bodybuilder. You know, you got those giant abs and stuff. I, I mean, that way we don't have to spend money on the, you know, the name, the corporation, you know. And it has a tax ID and everything. And checkbook. Uh, we just got to buy insurance. Yeah, I don't have the I don't have the capital to get the steam off a of kettle. Say that again, I can't hear you. I don't have anything. You, you don't have anything to bring to the table? Is that what you said? Yep. I can just be a worker. You can be what? I, I can I I, I can I can just be a worker. There you go. Now I can hear you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have anything. So, um. Dude, I, let me ask you this. Do you know how to run a motor or skid steer? No, I don't. <laughs> well, you've operated a 18 foot truck for years. I mean, I mean, I can learn. Yeah. So you've got some experience anyway. You're not going to be claustrophobic inside a skid steer. You know, you can get in it. You're used to operating things close at hand with you. And, you know, that's all a skid steer is. It's just like running a truck. You're just running different controls. You know what I mean? Yep. So what I'm saying, you can bring that experience to the table. Don't say you don't have nothing. You do have something. You know, you can right. get in my skid steer probably in 10 minutes. Figure it out. running 
equipment, and that's all it really requires to run a loader. It's sit in small spaces and play with a joystick and push some buttons. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, I'll play with your clutch. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, let's. I mean, I think we could do it. it um, well, how do we get? Sure. You want me to be the foreman? Yeah, I'd be like, blue team, move that brush in that trailer. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, how do we get our first couple of gigs? Uh, 